data class style object with mutable and immutable properties. I have been playing around with data classes dynamically loaded with property names from a file and I am unable to find a way to create both frozen and non-frozen properties. I believe data classes only allow you to set all proper rights to frozen or non-frozen. As of now, I create a frozen data class and add immutable class as one of the properties which I can change as I go but I am not very happy with the readability of this approach. Is there another Pythonic data class people would recommend without needing to implement a class with the ability to set mutable slash immutable properties? However I would prefer the ability to choose which attributes are frozen and which are not. Making the need of adding an additional class to the data class obsolete. It may look like this. Notice the true of modifiable and XL false. I'm not saying this is how I would do it in the end but hopefully this helps understand my question better. The normal approach to tuning attribute handling is writing a custom underscore setter to underscore method, which allows you to override the default behavior for attribute assignments. Unfortunately, that method is also what data classes hooks into to enforce the frozen logic, which effectively locks the function from being altered any further by throwing type error column cannot override attribute underscore setter to underscore in plus modifiable config as soon as you try to touch it. As a consequence, there is no straightforward and simple solution to your problem that I can see. Your approach of delegating the mutable parts of a class to an inner object or dictionary is, in my opinion, not bad or unpythonic at all, but if you're fine with dropping frozen from your requirements list and only want a partly mutable data class, you can try using this bootleg semi-frozen recipe here that updates the data class decorator with a flag semi that you can switch on to get the behavior you described. I'm being brief here and don't address some potential edge cases here. There are better ways to handle the wrapping so that the internals are more consistent, but it would blow this already complicated snippet up even more. Given this new data class decorator, you can use it like this to define a data class with some immutable attributes and some mutable ones. You don't have to use underscore slots underscore to separate the mutable from the immutable part, but it is convenient for a few reasons, such as being a meta attribute that isn't part of the default data class wrapper and felt intuitive to me. In the top answer above, the code breaks if foo is a subclass of another class. To fix this, the line should read that way, super actually traverses upward instead of going into an infinite self-reference. Since data classes adds new arguments to a data class dot 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 in newer Python versions such as kw underscore only in Python 3.10, 
Using a decorator to wrap the Data Class decorator might not be an ideal option moving forward. One alternative is to use a newer descriptor approach in Python 3. While the below solution does not work when slots equals true is passed into the Data Class decorator, it does appear to work well enough in the general case. Here is an implementation of a simple descriptor class frozen, which raises an error if an attribute is set more than once, i.e. outside of underscore init underscore. Usage For frozen which allows you to set a default value for a field See my post here which indicates how to set it up. Timings If curious, I have also timed the descriptor approach above with the custom underscore set hatter underscore approach as outlined in the top answer. Here is my sample code with the timeout module. Results on my Mac M1. This indicates creating a new field instance is much faster with a descriptor approach, up to 100x, but calling underscore set adder underscore is slightly faster with a custom set adder approach, presumably because implementing the underscore slots underscore attribute reduces memory overhead and also reduces the average lookup time for instance attributes. I found quite a simple way of doing this and keep some kind of decent code. Basically it becomes an interface and I overwrite the setter by throwing an exception when the underscore already exists. You can always create a dedicated exception class for this purpose. Something like immutable exception, 